is. I did see I'd come back, do a little bit more. I mean, I've, you know, watched a few videos, and paid a bit of attention, shit like that, so that I can learn some stuff about how to ha really help out. I mean, I know, I'm new to this whole thing. People can say what they want, but you know what? As far as I care, they can all go fuck themselves. Here's the skinny of it. You know, people want to be able to make gold, especially with the upcoming expansion, okay? And I understand. Well, everybody wants to be able to make gold, so here's what I'm going to honestly help you out with. If you got a rogue, I'm going to do two videos today, both real quick, probably three to five minutes on each. Watch them both. I'll show you how to make a little bit of gold. It's not that difficult. It's actually pretty easy to make some gold on a rogue. I'm going to show you one here, right in Tanan Jungle on a rogue that you can make some gold with. And then I'm going to show you another one at a, that you can do with a level 90 rogue, okay? You have to be a rogue, of course, I mean, and I would highly recommend you have the appropriate glyph of pickpocket, which increases the radius of your pickpocket. Yeah, you're wondering, well, why the fuck would I want to pickpocket everyone? You know, I'm about to show you, because in, in Warlord's Draenor, you get the little flute, okay? It, it's, it's whatever. It's this little flute that summons Grifta, you know, the bastard that basically, you know, screws you over on countless occasions and other scenarios, other quests. You pickpocket these little goofy trinkets, whatever. You got the glyph, you can be five feet away. You don't even gotta be near him. The likelihood of aggro, real low, okay? Uh, if you do it as sud, it helps because you can, you know, increase your stealth and everything like that, so. But, you know, I'd say pickpocket quite a bit. You know, grab as much crap as you can. You like you're gonna make your way around these camp this camp probably at least once, you know, before you need to sell. The way you sell, quite easy. You got the whistle. You you should get the whistle honestly at ninety one, ninety. Your first couple of quests you'll pickpocket it. If you haven't, just start pickpocketing, you'll find it. Start the quest to talk to Grifta. You get said whistle. Cool. That yeah. Now once you have it, you call him, Grifta shows up. A little shadowy fool, I think it's got like a ten minute cooldown, but we'll go over that here in a second. And he gives you a quest. He gives you weeklies, and then he also gives you a daily. Okay, you want to stay away from those sons of bitches because they got the wolf with the eye, so. But all the little ones, eh, you know, it's what it is. Obviously, rarity of stuff d designates rarity. And anyway, as you're selling to Grifta, you get bloodied coins. Well, I think they're bloodied coins, or rusty coins, excuse me. And what the rusty coins do is they're currency, you know, but they're currency for Grifta, okay? not currency for anything else, you can't go on and, you know, spend it on the auction house or whatever, but you can just, you know, get it. So, what you do is you pick it up, and you go find your enemy. Sorry about that, if that wasn't really loud, that's my own fault. Need to alter the volumes, can't do that real right now. Once I finish these few guys, I'll, I'll do that. But, yeah, you, you sell all your crap. I guess you see, you know, I've almost spilled the main backpack slot, that's 16 slots, and then they do stack, which, uh, you know, is, is a massive, massive joy. I can only imagine if these things didn't stack, boy, would that suck. And you can do this, you know, multiple times, multiple times. You know, you can pickpocket these guys, and then turn around and go do it at the, 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 the beach, and then turn around and go do it over at the friggin' Iron Front. The Iron Front's probably, to be honest, the easiest, because most of the enemies there are actually already in combat with other NPCs, and the likelihood of you aggroing is very, very slim, so you can just avoid them for the most part, which is really nice, because you can just pickpocket, make some gold, turn around, go do another area, or just do all the areas, and then, you know, call Grifta once you're done. I'm going to call Grifta here in a moment, once I get these last two warlocks. Now, I would say, you know, honestly, go to a safe place. You don't want to do it out in the open, just in case you want to look through his inventory, or whatever. So fly up to top of the mountain, whatever, and give him a call. And the way you give him a call is you get the secretive whistle. It's see, Griff has given me a weekly called the Big Score, and you obtain digi co dingy coins, 250 gold. That's not bad. And all you do is click finish your loot. Boom. And you give him all your stuff. And as you see right there, from the five minutes that I did that, I got 746 dingy coins. Okay, that is not bad. Now, you do that for, I don't know, what, five minutes? I made 746 coins, almost 250 gold. And that is, is, of course, for his weekly. I understand. But, 
keep doing it, keep at it, and God knows what you're gonna get. Oh shit, I pulled it. Kill this stupid wolf. I haven't played my rogue in a hot minute, and I haven't even looked at his specs or any of that fun shit. So he's probably pretty freaking jank right now. But yeah, I mean, you know, so, you know, you get the dingy coins, you get all your gold there. So that's really not bad. I mean, now the next area I'm going to show you guys in the next video is one that you can do at level 90. I'd recommend doing it level 100 with the appropriate uh, talent to move faster while you are in stealth, the Night Stalker, just because it makes things a lot, it gives you a lot less of a headache. Okay. Um, and then you can simply just go from there, and you're also going to get other things too. Because if you're level 100, it's you know it's going to be cakewalk and a half. If you're not level 100, well, you know it's still going to give you something. You know it's just not going to be as great. But you now, if you aren't level 100 and you're level 90, it can still be done. It'll just probably be a little bit more difficult. That's all. So I wouldn't worry too much about. It's not like it's going to be impossible. Alright, so I'm going to head out. Yeah, you see, okay, the whistle has a 15, 20, it's probably a 15 minute cooldown. So, with the whistle, you know, it can't do it all the time, but this stuff doesn't expire. It'll stay in your inventory. So, you shouldn't expect that to disappear on me at all. And just like that, that's money. You know, he's going to give you this quest. Once you complete it, he does give you another one, just so you know. And then once you've done the not the other one, you move on. Well, let me do the stupid thing. Cool, yeah, whatever. Let's speak to the warlock. Help the warlock punch yourself in the face. Yay, stupid asshole. All right, yeah. I apologize. I'm just really stupid. But anyway, um, yeah, you know that's that's it right there. Just work on that. If you're a rogue, if you're not a rogue, I mean. Do, do your dailies, well, you know, I'll discuss that for other characters, obviously. But you want easy gold guides? That's an easy one right there. 250 gold for about five minutes work. It's really not bad. Now, in the next video, you're probably going to make even more. And there will be some auctioning involved. But I guarantee you, you know, you're probably going to make anywhere from five to 15,000 gold in, in less than an hour's work. So what I'll do is I will see you guys back at the next video if you want to learn how to make some gold in a level 90 content or a pandaria content all right peace